In this video, you will discover how to build reduced order models with SimCenter AIMSIM ROM Builder. Whether they come from simulation or test, digital twins are designed for very specific applications. By only conveying their core attributes, reduced order models extract more value from digital twins in a much broader context. For instance, reduced order models can extend the scope of other models or enable real-time applications. Building and exporting a reduced order model is now made available for all with SimCenter AIMSIM ROM Builder. This tool provides the best reduction techniques in an intuitive interface, from machine learning to linear algebra and statistics. Let's see how it works with three short examples. First, we consider the simplification of an aircraft engine. After mapping operating points in simulation, the table of results is imported into the tool. Then, desired inputs and outputs are selected, and a response surface model is computed. The model accuracy can be analyzed from metrics and plots. And lastly, the model can be exported to SimCenter AIMSIM, for instance, to speed up aircraft analysis. Now let's look at a dynamic case. Here, we are dealing with a system that exhibits dynamics, which can't be neglected. In order to keep transient capabilities, a dynamic neural network is preferred. Thanks to the model wizard, the tool automatically selects an appropriate network. Different models can be trained and compared between themselves, enabling you to pick up the best one and export it as a 2.0 functional mockup unit, ONNX, or submodel. As a final example, let's illustrate how finite elements models can be reduced. Here, a 2D cantilever beam is linearized in SimCenter AIMSIM and loaded into the tool. The model can be further simplified just by adjusting the target order while monitoring the accuracy with various plots. The reduced model with just a few states can be exported for speeding up simulation or for building a virtual sensor. To conclude, SimCenter AIMSIM ROM Builder provides several ways to easily create reduced order models that can then be used in different contexts. Thank you for watching.